the front of the net to provide a better scream on Markstrom. Avery won by Kittenar. Valach's a shot, rebound in front. Markstrom down, they bat away, and Kittenar just missed it. This is Kittenar down low with it. Final seconds of the period. Mertel a long shot, scores! Merrick Mertel, Slovakia leads! Never underestimate coaching tactics, heart, goaltending, and kids that believe in one another. And these kids are starting to believe. All kinds of pressure around Jakob Markstrom. Mertel does a good job keeping the play alive. Kit Nash, excellent decision. Points are wide open, get it to the point. And then Martel threw a screen, and not even a great screen, over the catching glove of Jakob Markstrom to make it one nothing Slovakia. Cinderella does still have time left on the clock with 3.6 seconds to go here in the first period. Unbelievable, amazing. And the shots are even at 12. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at the Swedish bench. They are incredulous right now. Back, Valach waits, shoots. Markstrom save, rebound. Oh, Mertel is robbed. Markstrom came across and took it away from Merrick Mertel. Mertel didn't get good wood on it. That was the problem in Sweden. Valach with the big shot from the point. And you see how Mertel just doesn't get any good wood on it because if he does, it's going to be 2 0 Slovakia. Great athleticism from Markstrom coming over from his left to his right, and his top of his glove just gets a look at head. Of the second period, and Slovakia continues to lead 1 0. Carl Gustafsson in, drops it off, Backlund in front, shoots, scores! Michael Backlund ties it up. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Big League. And Michael Backlund has scored some big goals in this tournament, and this one's a gigantic one for Sweden. You see all the blue sweaters are back, and then a little deep cross and drop, and then the short side snapper high over the glove of Giannis. It's a great job by Gustafsson. He draws a defense, and then the quick release scored right under the crossbar, just off the net, and bam. Not a whole lot that Stanhoff can do in that situation, or Stanhoff can do in that situation. What a shot by Michael Backlund. You know, Backlund's an interesting story. He plays for Vasteris in the Swedish. He tries to feed that in front. That pass was blocked by Kittnar. And now play is called as we have the puck played with a high stick. Or, no, it's high sticking oh, against boy. Oscar Moeller. And Moeller saying, look at the replay. Well, that's a high stick. But okay. you know what? It's not no, Moeller's it's not stick. His it's, stick. His own, it's his own man. It's his own man, it's Kittnar's uh, Kittner stick that comes up and gets him. Watch Kittnar right here, it's his own man, gets him. Kittnar plays for Saskatoon, a draft pick of Edmonton, and Oscar Moeller's got cruising through the slot. This is Mertel with it. Kovacs had too many men on the ice for a moment. Tatar walks in front, shoots, scores! Thomas Tatar gives Slovakia the lead. Two goals yesterday against the Americans, and he's had the most offensive jump for Slovakia here this afternoon. And Thomas Tatar can be so proud of the way he's handled himself in this tournament. 5'10", 176, and he loves the puck on his stick board. I love the way he backs the defenseman off, doing a good job attacking Sebastian Eriksson. Composure with the puck in the corner. He'll bite, he'll fight, he'll do whatever it takes to get the puck back, keep the play alive. And then I love how he attacks the penalty killing box. He sees the seam, comes in, look at Markstrom trying to find the puck. Boom, high short side over the glove. That's just spectacular dissection by Tatar. Break it down, look, 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 drive, and hammer it. Two one Slovakia. Boy, hey. he scored some oh, big man. goals. He had two ends from. Now Carlson tees it up. That shot was blocked by Steinock. Back he goes to back with lots of traffic. Tees it up and scores. Back with again, tie game. And a huge assist to Nicholas Lasso. He's an Atlanta Thrasher's fifth-round pick, and he does a great job getting into the head of Yaroslav Giannis. Yeah, Backlund with the goal, but it's all the heavy lifting down low done by Lasso, who's getting pushed around, bumped around. Oscar Moeller, all of them doing a good job. That was probably the worst part of the whole sequence right there, but again, Michael Backlund had already seen what his teammates were doing, and Lasso had clearly gotten into the head of Yaroslav Giannis. Makes it 2-2. Back with his second of the game, fifth of the tournament, and with 12.56 to go in the third period, this game is back to even. 
Now Tedenby centers it right in front. A great chance. Giannis down the puck loose. Ostrom shoots and scores. It may have been Tedenby who got a stick on it last. It was Ulstrom went sprawling through the crease, and the Swedes lead for the first time. Well, the clock may have struck midnight for Cinderella. And here's an example. They're just running out of steam. You see him get pushed off the puck in that situation by Tedenby. They're driving hard in that. And eventually that puck's going to go right to the back of the net. And it's hard to say whether it's Andre Pedersen, whether it's Tedenby in that situation, or whether it's David Ulstrom. And it looks, like Ulstrom. it looks like Ulstrom gets it. 24 is on the seat of his pants, and it's David Ulstrom. Watch him right there. I think his stick comes in right at the end. It is. It's yeah. his stick that gets it. Ulstrom with his second of this World Junior. It should be his goal. And the Slovaks have called timeout. This has not been an easy game for Sweden. Again, Slovakia deserves a ton of credit for hanging in there. This is a tough back-to-back -back for them. The gigantic upset against the Americans and now going up against the vaunted Swedish team. And they're hanging in there. But David Alstrom, nice, nice goal. Tedenby. What a move by Tedenby. Oh, what another move by Tedenby. In a low. Tedenby across. Helmerson scores. Tedenby, unbelievable. Lou Lamorello and Brent Sutter are sitting back in New Jersey watching this saying thanks very much, David Conti, for bringing us uh, Matthias Tedenby. Tedenby with a little whoop to do once, twice, give us one more. Thank you. And then go to the net and then distribute for a one-time opportunity and the finish by Halmerson. That's just phenomenal hockey. One, two, and then a third one. Thank you. And then know that the guys are left-hand shots. We get one time it. Nice. Four, two, sweet. Halmerson with his fourth. But a capital A on the assist. Wow. Oh. It's amazing how the same teams always do the draft right, isn't it, huh? The third period, the Slovaks have pulled their net line. Well, you've often criticized the yeah. Europeans for not pulling their goalie. Maybe he was listening. Can't complain now. Four minutes left. There's a backhand shot that rolls just wide from Mertel. Now another launch and loose in front. Oh, Teddy scores! Thomas Tatar brings Slovakia within one. Way to go, Stefan Mikish, the coach for Slovakia. Pulls the goaltender, puts the extra body on the ice. And Thomas Tatar, the little big man, coming out and scoring. Jakob Markstrom, big in goal. Watch Tatar right there, just sneaks it by Jakob Markstrom. 4-3, Sweden leads. Amazing. The Slovaks won't go away. I can't remember a team pulling the goaltender that early unless there was a goal differential issue where they had to win by right. seven or eight goals. With the 4.20 to go, and they pull the goaltender. By Rusnak, but the pass was broken up. Dale sends it in. But Bazak had to tag up. Now a chance in front with the empty net. Moeller scores! Oscar Moeller with 1.17 to go has given Sweden the two-goal lead back. Excellent composure by Eric Carlson and Sebastian Eriksson. Allows Oscar Muller to get this pass in full flight. It's D to D and Sebastian Eriksson. The long stretch pass to Muller, who makes absolutely no mistake. You see Sebastian Eriksson get the feed from Eric Carlson. And Oscar Muller, who's already played for the Los Angeles Kings this year, finishes a playoff and makes it 5-3 Sweden, and that will do it, Cinderella. Hard to believe that's his first goal of this World Junior Championship. Yep.